Hey there. So this is an update on a video tutorial I made about a year ago about how to style uh, and customize your Google Forms. And I got a lot of questions in the comments for that video asking about how to uh, use the method on a form that has drop down boxes and multiple choice uh, questions. So I figured that I would make an update and show you guys how to do that. Um, so Google Forms has undergone a pretty big update since my last video. Um, so this assumes that you already have a form that you've set up in, in Google Forms and you would like to customize. So uh, the first step, of course, is to uh, go ahead and uh, open your form in uh, the editor and it's going to look different than it used to if you haven't uh, used it in a while. This is the new editor here on the screen now and uh, this is an example form I've set up uh, that has a multiple choice question, a drop down, and uh, some text inputs as well. Uh, in my previous video we had just done a simple contact form that only had text inputs so uh, yeah a lot of people were interested in how to style these elements so we're going to cover that. So uh, the new the new version of, of Google Forms adds a lot of things to the code that we don't want to have to deal with because it makes it very messy and hard to uh, manipulate. So the first thing we're going to do once we have our form open in the editor is we're going to go down to the lower right hand corner where this little question mark circle is uh, and if you hover over it it will say help and feedback and we're going to click on that and you'll see the at the bottom of this uh, menu is back to the old forms we'll click on that and that's just going to load our form in the old editor which uh, should look like this and uh, once uh, you're there then go up to this toolbar where it says view live form and click on that button and that should take you to a a live version of your Google form and go ahead and close your editor tab and leave this one open for now and uh, next we're going to uh, open a, uh, a new blank uh, file in notepad and uh, we're going to go back to our uh, live form and we're going to right click anywhere in the screen and we're going to go view page source and uh, this is going to open a tab with a bunch of scary nonsense in it <laughs> but that's okay because uh, we're not going to be concerned with uh, most of this so don't get uh, scared or overwhelmed uh, just like my last video uh, on styling forms uh, this is going to be much easier for someone with some basic uh, knowledge of HTML if you've never done anything with HTML before watching this video then this isn't going to be very useful to you uh, but it's certainly not hard to learn so anyhow that being said what we are interested uh, in is in this code is just copying uh, everything between the opening and closing form tags so it can be a little difficult to um, see where everything starts on this so I I like to go into the Chrome menu up here and go to find and then click uh, form to see uh, with the bracket to see where it starts and it should start right uh, it'll highlight it like it does right here and uh, it starts out with this form action and uh, so we want to start selecting there click our cursor there and drag and then we're we are looking for the ending form tag which is actually right here you'll see the closing form tag so uh, we want to right click and copy all of that and then go to our notepad file and uh, right click and paste and uh, next we're going to go File, Save As. Uh, we need to change the Save As type from Text Documents to All Files. And then we'll give this uh, file a name like uh, for, I'm going to call it Form Inputs, but you can call it Google Form or whatever you want. And then .html, which is important. I'm going to save it to my desktop. I already have it saved, so I'm going to replace it. And uh, next we're going to go to our uh, hard drive and find the file we just created. This is mine, form inputs, and uh, yours might be called Google Forms or whatever you chose. So uh, we'll double click that to open it in Chrome. 
and uh, you'll see that this is our form stripped down to the bare minimum uh, without any real styling at all. So uh, this does work. This will work. You can submit this form and fill it out, uh, and it will show up in your response spreadsheet in, in uh, Google Drive. But uh, we need to uh, we need to do a couple things. Like uh, I like to remove the uh, this is a required question uh, text beneath everything here. I, I like to remove all of those. So uh, the way that we do that is uh, we uh, pull up our notepad file and uh, what I do is uh, I like to go uh, edit and find and I just uh, typed in required question and uh, click find next and uh, it'll take you uh, highlight the part so you'll see that right here this is a required question is within uh, this div right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and and delete the opening and closing div tags that contain that sentence and then just delete it entirely and I'll just repeat this process uh, by clicking find next and having it highlight the next uh, and then uh, make sure you check both directions there's another one delete that and uh, there's one to get rid of and uh, so that's all of them and close that and then file save and then go back to your Chrome tab and hit refresh and you'll see that those all go away and you can also do the same thing with uh, the text at the bottom the warning about not submitting passwords is at the bottom right here within its own div as well. We'll just get rid of that and we'll, we'll file and save and then refresh in Chrome and it goes away. So <clears throat> I'll tell you get rid of that stuff. So uh, you might also notice that uh, multiple choice questions, um, they're functional and they work and they have the radio buttons. Uh, however, they also to the left here have um, bullets next to them and that's because for some reason uh, Google Forms has started to add unordered list uh, tags to uh, multiple choice options which is weird um, but we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that so to do that to get rid of these bullets we'll go back to our notepad file and uh, we need to find uh, the unordered list tag we'll go find and do the UL like that without the closing tag and go find next uh, in both directions sorry okay so here we find uh, a, an unordered list uh, tag and we'll go ahead and delete that starting tag and we also need to delete all the list item tags as well so like this one and uh, you'll need to do that for every uh, option in your multiple choice question so uh, yeah and I would remove both the opening and closing because otherwise it'll make your code invalid and uh, sometimes that can matter so uh, that's pretty much how you do that um, I'm gonna pause and get rid of all of them so you don't have to sit here and watch so uh, now you'll see that uh, that has gotten rid of those bullets and uh, now our multiple choice looks normal and like it's supposed to. So uh, that's, uh, that's much better. Um, so now we need to add some styles to it and make some customizations uh, to the way it looks uh, right now. So to do that, uh, we're going to pull up Notepad and we're going to scroll to the very top and we're going to put our cursor before the first character at the very beginning and we're going to hit the enter key a few times to create some line breaks and some blank space white space uh, at the top of our document and then we're going to go to the description to this video and click on the link that you'll find there which is going to take you to a page that looks like this and uh, what you need to do here is just simply uh, copy, select all of this, right click, copy, go back to your notepad, and 
at the top, go ahead and paste it, and then File, Save, and go ahead and refresh the tab in Chrome, and you'll notice that uh, uh, the text uh, is a different color, and when you click on the inputs, they get highlighted with this blue uh, focus. Uh, so, you'll also notice that uh, the options for your multiple choice questions have become blue like the labels are, and so we need to change that uh, because we don't want them to look like labels. And the reason that that's happening is because uh, Google has added label tags around them, which uh, we don't want, just like we don't want the unordered list and list item tags. So, again, we'll uh, pull up our, our notepad and... Uh, we want to just go edit and find and go ahead and just put the opening label tag like that and uh, they're the only ones that don't have uh, any attributes or anything like that so it's just simply the opening label tag so we're gonna get rid of those any ones that we find here that are just label also the closing label tag for these and uh, same process as removing the, uh, the list items and all of that. And then if you uh, file save and uh, refresh the tab in Chrome, you'll see that our uh, multiple choice options now look like regular text and the labels are uh, colored, which is what we want. So that's, uh, that's how to fix that. And uh, lastly, uh, we can go ahead and experiment and, or play with um, the styles provided by, uh, let's go ahead and uh, pull up our notepad document here. And uh, you will notice if you scroll to the top here, that uh, the stuff we pasted up at top uh, between these style tags um, are just some very basic ones that I have uh, included. But uh, if we uh, resize this window just a tiny bit, then uh, we'll be able to see them side by side here. So uh, here we have our, our code and notepad. And uh, to the left we have our uh, document open in Chrome. So, uh, for example, uh, see uh, for the labels, I uh, put set the font size to 16 pixels, and I chose a color which uh, is this right here, which is a hex code. And uh, you can uh, go ahead and Google that if you want to uh, find c colors by hex code. Um, so let's go ahead and. Uh, Let's change this from 16 pixels to uh, 25. We'll change this number right here to 25. And then for the color, we'll go ahead and just replace this hex code with uh, red, because we can do that. And uh, go ahead and file, save, and refresh it in Chrome. And you'll see that the uh, labels get much larger and the color changes to red. So uh, yeah, you can, uh, you can edit this by uh, changing the values in this up here, uh, or you can, of course, if you have a style sheet that you want to use, um, you can you can of course use that. Uh, just make sure to match up your you know uh, your classes and whatnot with uh, the stuff you have in your uh, CSS. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that's how to uh, do that, and and it so it works for multiple choice as well as drop down, all of those work just fine the same as they do at text. So uh, if you have questions, please post them in the comments and I hope, uh, hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.